Hello and welcome to the AwareNS WMIS 2015 online learning. This course is broken out into three modules. Before watching the videos, please make sure you've created your online AwareNS account and have enrolled in this course. Following each video is a brief quiz. Once you have successfully completed all three videos and quizzes, you will receive your WMIS 2015 certificate. Module 1 is an overview of WMIS 2015. Module 2 will discuss labels and pictograms, and Module 3 will cover safety data sheets and responsibilities. WMIS is a nationwide system to provide information on hazardous materials used in the workplace. WMIS affects workers, employers, suppliers, and regulators. Nova Scotia's WMIS regulations place duties at any workplace covered by the Occupational Health and Safety Act where hazardous materials are used, stored, or handled. This nationwide system is based on the worldwide, globally harmonized system, sometimes referred to as GHS. What does WMIS stand for? WMIS is an acronym for Workplace Hazardous Material Information System. WMIS was created to fulfill workplace obligations to let workers know about potential safety and health hazards associated with the materials or chemicals they use at work. Exposure to hazardous materials can cause or contribute to serious health issues. These issues can include effects on the nervous system, kidney, or lung damage, as well as sterility, cancer, burns, and rashes. Some hazardous materials can cause fires or explosions. WMIS is a system designed to prevent injuries, illnesses, deaths, and associated medical costs and also property damage from explosions and fires caused by hazardous materials. The next few slides we will cover WMIS legislation. Originally, WMIS, Canada's Right to Know Hazard Communication Standard, came into effect on October 31, 1988. It was developed by the collaborative efforts of government, industry, and labor, and is supported by both federal and provincial legislation. In 2015, WMIS was updated to match the International Globally Harmonized System. The updated system in Canada is known as WMIS 2015. There are two federal laws that are relevant to WMIS in Canada. The Hazardous Products Act. This places duties on suppliers who sell or import a hazardous material for use in a workplace to provide supplier labels and safety data sheets to their customers. And the Hazardous Materials Information Review Act and Regulations, which sets out how confidential business information will be handled at the federal level. These regulations permit some exemptions from the disclosure of trade secrets that are claimed by suppliers of controlled products. Nova Scotia uses three additional laws to implement WMIS. The Occupational Health and Safety Act, the Disclosure of Information Regulations, and Workplace Health and Safety Regulation, which is where you can find WMIS. WMIS has been embedded in these regulations rather than being a standalone regulation. WMIS 2015 has three objectives. Classify hazards of chemical products, communication of the hazards, which would include possible health effects and how the worker can protect themselves, which includes proper storage and communicate health and safety information on labels and safety data sheets. WMIS 2015 divides hazardous products into two major groups. Physical hazards, which is based on the physical or chemical properties of the product, such as flammability, reactivity, or how corrosive it is to metals, and health hazards, based on the ability of the product to cause health effects, such as eye irritation, allergy, or asthma symptoms or breathing difficulties, and carcinogenicity, which may cause cancer. The physical hazards group is divided into several classes, which you see listed here. The most common ones are the flammable and oxidizing categories. The health hazards group is also divided into several classes, which you see listed here. Some of the most common hazards are the acute toxicity and also skin and eye irritation. Employer Responsibilities Employers must Educate and train workers on the hazards and safe use of products 
These online modules cover the general aspects of the WIMIS training, but workers must also be trained on the specific hazardous products they are using, handling, or in close proximity to. Ensure that hazardous materials are properly labeled, meaning there is a label and it can be easily read. Prepare workplace labels. This takes place when a product is being transferred out of the original bulk container into a smaller container. Provide access for workers to up-to-date safety data sheets, either in a binder or an online system. And ensure appropriate control measures are in place to protect the health and safety of workers. This refers to proper storage and use of the required personal protective equipment, aka PPE. Employee responsibilities include Participate in WIMIS and chemical safety training programs, which should include this online training, reading and understanding the safety data sheets and labels, along with your organization's safety procedures. Take necessary steps to protect yourselves and your coworkers, which includes following the procedure for safe handling and storage, along with the use of the proper PPE, and participate in identifying and controlling hazards. Worker education and training. WEMIS legislation requires that information and instruction be provided to all workers who work with or in proximity to a controlled product. That is any worker who stores, handles, uses, or disposes of a controlled product or who immediately supervises another worker performing these duties. The term in proximity refers to the area in which a worker's health and safety could be at risk during storage, handling, use or disposal of a product. It is the supervisor's responsibility to provide worksite-specific WIMIS training. Employees must ensure that they obtain adequate information on a controlled product in order to work with it safely. See your supervisor if you feel you need more information. Remember, this course is just an overview of WIMIS 2015. You still need to be trained on the specific chemicals or controlled products you'll be using every day at your own workplace. WIMIS education is measured by the ability of workers to demonstrate safe work procedures and the knowledge of why these procedures are required. If you cannot answer all four of these questions, you should ask your supervisor for more information as soon as possible. What are the hazards of the products that I may be working with or working in close proximity to? How do I protect myself from these hazards? What do I do in case of an emergency? And where can I get further information? Most of these answers can be found on the labels or the safety data sheet. Module 1 is now complete. Please click the button below to be directed to the quiz and then from there you can continue on to the next module.